Okay, now we're gonna sharpen my plane. The, actually, this is a new plane I got. It's a really, really cheap plane and I wanted to test it out. This plane cost me $10. And it looks like a pretty nice plane. It's adjustable. I'm gonna flatten the back. To make sure that your edge Wow, that was simple. See what I mean by, oh, it's sharpened. Look, look at the machine marks on this thing. Let's see if I can show them to you. Look at that. How awful that is. And it's the same on the other side. That, that's not sharp. <laughs> it, and it's certainly not polished. Let's start with the back side with our own. See, this goes to tell you how not flat they are. They say this, you see, I just finished passing it with the 200, at least a few passes. But see how uneven this is? It's high over here, as you can tell. The 200 was rubbed over here. And it's totally a hollow over here. See that? It's, it's high around this hole. And there's a big hollow over here and big hollow over there. So they're not going to tell me this blade is sharp or straight for that matter. So we're going to continue on 200 until this thing is flat. It's getting better. This shiny part here, it's got to be like that all over over here. See what's left? There's not much left. It's pretty clean from from the edge right on to here, so that's that's good enough. And now we can start working on 300, 400, and then 600. Go to 300. This is always on the back side. All right, we're going to go to 400. All right, so now our back is done. We're going to rub it on the leather a little bit. Yeah, it's already pretty darn sharp, I'll tell you that. So now what we're gonna do, we're gonna start working on our bevel. Round the edges a little bit. That way, if your, your plane gets cockeyed, the, the points don't dig in the wood. 200 again. Put your finger at the tip, find, find your angle and... There's still marks and spots, there are low spots in here. So I'm gonna keep going. Now what I'm going to do is go back my angle but just tilt the blade just a little bit to round my corners a little bit. We're going to 300.
Finally, 600. Now, once again, I'm gonna go on my leather. Keeping that same angle. On the back side, there's always that little burr. You just go like this and, and that's it. No more burr. Well, I have the blade taken out and everything. I like to uh, get my oil and just put ever so lightly a little oil on my things. Then I'm just going to take my rag here, wipe off the excess. See these screws over here? They have like a like a channel in this screw and it, it pulls the blade up and down on either side. That's how you adjust up and down or sideways. Let's test this out. unbelievable push my blade down the tab fantastic I mean this is smooth I mean it's it's even more than smooth uh, I bet you if I want to varnish this, I'm going to have to sand it because it's too smooth. Uh, the varnish won't be absorbed if I just don't sand this. This is like silky smooth. The surface is shiny. That's how smooth that is. I'm going to go on the length of the board and see. I like this, the left and right. So if your blade's too high on one side, you can lower it. You know, I like this. Once again, there's no need for sanding. Smooth as a baby's butt. Now nah, that's a nice board. I will say this for this plane. For $8.75, you can't beat that. I mean, that's unreal. It's not the full length plane, eight and a half inch plane by two inches and a quarter. And the blade itself is one and three quarters. Well, I don't know about you, but you saw the results. What if I try an oak? That's as, as silky as it gets. All right guys, this is Scott's Garage and that's how I sharpen my chisels and my planes. See you guys on my next video.